I'll turn out a light so this is easier to read. So you've already done A and B, here's C through F. Oh, 180 per day, so it'd be 3, Put these up for a little too. But what now? Yeah. 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 They, uh, no, because we all teach um, these classes. The, uh, the instructors ask me not. Okay. Yep. Because uh, yeah. This is nice to have. A, I mean, I guess we have it here on our own thing. So, but to reference back to so practice yeah. at home. Mm -hmm. So you did some stuff up. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. stopping place, I wanted to talk about something in 1-1A, um, okay? So, um, here if I could, and I'll, I'll, I'll put this back up, okay? But let me have your attention, I'll work on something else. So, what if your homework is 3-1A, let's do three, let's do this one in 3-1B. So I'm on page 127 is where I'm getting this, right? And it's 3-1B, your homework will be 3-1A. So you'll see an identical problem but with different numbers on your homework. And let me go through adjustment B with you, okay? So, let's see, can I, I'll turn this around. Thank you very much, I'll just get past you here. 
let me turn this around. And so what it says is on this B, it says an analysis of the company insurance uh, uh, insurance policy provided the following facts. So policy A was purchased on April first, two thousand and ten. It had a twenty-four month coverage, and they paid three thousand dollars for it. And then, oh here I've got uh, this thing. Let me do this. And then policy B. They bought it on April 1st, 2011. It covered 36 months, and they paid 3,600 for it. Policy C, they bought on August 1st, 2011, covered 12 months, and they paid 660 for it. How much is the adjusting entry? So their, their accounting period ended October 31st, 2011, and it was for the year, it's the annual, okay? So I'm gonna turn this around and let me show you how this works out. I'll just point it up here because there's kind of a big empty space. It'll be easy to work with. So here's how this works. I'll turn on the lights so that's easier to read. Now, what we want to do don't, with an adjusting entry is we want to assign the expense in the period when it occurs. That's what we're doing with this, right? We'll also assign the revenue when that was earned then that will match the expenses to the revenue we can find the net income. Does that sound good? Okay. The question we have with this is how much insurance expense did we incur in the fiscal year ending October 31st, 2011? So the way this works is, so on the first one, so what we want is October, so what it is is it's 2011, it goes from October 1 to 2000, well, I'm sorry, 2011 goes to October 31. So October 1 was back in 2010, okay? And the fiscal year is different from the... 13 months? Oh, I'm sorry, you're right, it goes to from November 30th. November uh, November 30th. So what it is, it'll be, it'll be November 30th. It'll be the last day of November. So that's only 11 days. Yeah. No. So we want to yeah. November, December, so through so January, January, February, March. Yeah. Oh, so that includes the whole month. Exactly. Oh, okay. No, it'll just include all of October. Oh. Okay. Let me make it, um, let me stop and think here. So what we want to do, it ends <laughs> October 31st, and it'll be for 12 months. Okay. So then it would start on November 1st. November. Or October 31st. No, November 1st. November 1st, you're right. It'd be November 1st. So it'll be all of November, December, and then, and then 10 months together. Yeah. Okay. All right. And thank all 12 you. 12 months. And it's, and it's 12 months. Yeah, 12 months. Okay. So now the first policy was purchased back here on April 1st, 2010. <coughs> so we'll make this policy A. And it was bought back here on like April 1st. And it will, it's good for what, two years? So it'll go to April 1st, 2010, April 1st, 2011, and it will end up here on April, I'll make it April, so March, March 31st, 2011. So that's when it'll end, 2012, right? Let me stop and think. It'll go from here to here, yeah, 2012. Okay, Max, how are you doing there? I'm doing good. All right, good. All right, sounds good. Now, what we want to know is how much expired in this 12 months. So, the for policy A, what it'll be? It'll be a three thousand dollar policy for 24 months. That means every month is 125 dollars. <coughs> That's per month. There's 12 months in this, it, it covers the whole fiscal period for 12, so that turns out to be $1,500. <coughs> so the policy itself costs $3,000, right? But $1,500 is for this fiscal year. Another way of looking at it is it covers two years, we're talking about this one year. So it existed prior to this fiscal year, if part of it will extend past this fiscal year, right? 
But all we're worried about is the amount that expired in this fiscal year. And that amount is $1,500. So that's the, that's the insurance expense for this fiscal year. That sound about right? Okay. Now, why don't you guys do policy B? Now, policy B, on that one, what they did is they purchased it April 1st of 2011. So they purchased it somewhere along in here. Okay. And it was in effect from April 1st to October 31st. So that would be April, May, June, July, August, September, October. So it was in effect seven months. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Michael, how are you doing down there? I see a quizzical look. Nope, I'm good. You're good? All right. Sounds good. So you guys want to do figure out about how much policy, how much insurance expense you have for policy. On, the, on the yeah. first one, would you need to figure out the first month's well, it was figured out as an adjustment to the previous fiscal year. Okay. And the remaining will be calculated the next fiscal year. But all we're worried about are these 12 months, okay. this fiscal year. Because what we're doing is we're doing the adjusting entries at the end of the fiscal year. Okay. okay. So you guys want to figure out how much expense there was for policy B? And it was purchased April 1st, 2010. Okay. So, <coughs> uh, yeah, October 31st, so it's all of October. Well, it was purchased in 2011. So. And it was purchased in 2011. Okay. So that means it was purchased seven months before the end of the fiscal year. Okay. Okay. So, here's the way it works is, for policy B, it's a $3,600 policy for 36 months, so that means every month that passes $100 expires, it would be April, May, June, July, August, September, October, let's see, September, October, so it was in effect for seven months in this fiscal year, that means it's $700. So is, that, is everybody okay with that? Because all we're worried about is the amount that expired in this fiscal year. And we bought it seven months before the end of the fiscal year. So the seven months between when we bought it and the fiscal year is the amount we count for. Kirsten, I see a quizzical look. Can I? No. You're doing no, good. I okay. have ABNC done, so yeah, no. I'm just You're doing good. All right. Sounds good. So now, why don't you guys do C? So with C, what they did is now it's August 1st, 2011, and it's a 12-month policy, and they paid 660 for it. How much insurance expense will policy C have? So policy C was August 1st, 2011. You know, actually, I do have a question. Since it does not say that it's prepaid insurance, are we to assume that they're just paying cash? So assume it's prepaid insurance. Okay, so no. assume it's prepaid so, insurance. Yeah, because most insurance okay. policies with the business, you buy the policy, have the car, it has the wreck, we'll give you a new car. You don't have the wreck, buy the policy, and get the new car. Okay, so they prepaid the insurance, and then we're moving, you know, 165 for C or 700. It's if you come from 65. Yeah, 165 to, from prepaid to expense. And it is expensive. It's a cost of doing business. Hi, could you send the roll on your way by? Uh, thanks. Okay. Right, it's the second one, second one in there. You go. Okay. So anyway, um, yeah, but Kristen, did you get a good answer to that? Yeah, I just oh, wasn't sure whether to assume it's oh, prepaid or does it have to state that it's prepaid? Assume it's prepaid. Okay. Yeah. All right, so for this thing, it's a, you pay 660 for it. It's in a, it's a 12-month policy, so that means every month, $55.00. Expires. Does that sound about right? And 
it was in effect for three months. Okay, it will be in effect from August 1st to October 31st, so three times 55, it does be 165. So I add all three of these together, it comes to 2,365. And so I'll debit, this is October 31, I debit insurance expense. Playing songs by Annie King. <laughs> for uh, for two thousand three hundred and sixty-five, and I credit prepaid insurance. And I'm just going to repay insurance IAS to kind of move along here. Three hundred and sixty-five. Does that sound sound good? You guys doing okay with that? All right. Doing good. And so I want to just kind of point that out because. Uh, once you see it done, you can repeat it, and it'll make it a richer experience. You won't end up being done. Losing your hair. Big boy. All right? Doing good? All right. Sound good? All right. So you guys, if you're okay with that, let's go back to... Um, Let's go back to our the problem we were working with. And so what they, what they, what they ask you to do next then is to fill out the, um, and I'll, by the way, I'll take this down, but I'll put it back up so you guys can have a reference to it. And I'm going to get it straight here and turn that thing around so our viewers at home <laughs> can, uh, okay, so our viewers at home can, can bring this up. So, Here's what we're doing. We're going back to problem 3 3B. Does that, does that make sense? Yes. Okay, good. Now, by the way, I haven't got the names yet. Do you, do you want to do these guys? Mm -hmm. oh, great, thanks. And, and we're just doing 3 3B as a matter of practice. And your homework is 3 3A. Okay. All right. So here's what we're doing next is we're going to move on to the ledgers. So here's the ledger. And the place you start. <clears throat> All right. And, uh, and uh, Serene and Eric, can I have your attention here? Okay. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go to 3-3B. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take these unadjusted balances and put them in the T account. So for instance, cash has a debit of 50000 so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to write 50,000 under cash, okay? Accounts receivable has a debit of zero. I could put a zero in there, leave a blank, and so forth. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Then post the adjustments from the journal we just did to the ledger. When you find the ending balance, that ending balance is the adjusted uh, adjusted trial balance, okay. So what you do is then you post the. So then you know you post you generalize. So then you, and then what you do is take that ending balance and produce your financial statements. Does that make sense? Okay. So start by putting the beginning balances in there, and here's where you find the beginning balances, and then post the adjustments. Now I'll put these adjustments back up. If anybody has a question, now if I make this kind of small, is that readable? Or should I make, let me just, I'll put the H down there because that's where people could have been working. And I'll just make it as large as possible. Okay, does that make sense? All right, I'll turn you guys loose. Turn on the lights. Can I 